And it's going to have my name in it and stuff. Hello. I think out to me. Well, here's my. Um, I can have any lyrics along. Latest project. You know what I mean? And I can. And we've had a, a few yeah. issues with the wiring. So I thought I'd do a video just to show you the kind of problems you can have with old kit cars. This is a, a it's a UVA fugitive. It's the uh, fugitive four, and uh, I don't know exactly when it was built, but obviously it's based it's based on a, an old Beetle, as you can see back Reg. And I've had an issue with wiring. And if you look at this. You'll see what sort of issue I've had. Melted wires. Uh, it's been rubbing through conduit. Uh, that's a total rat's nest there. Uh, but what gets me is that it's the real poor quality of how it's been put together. And if you've got an old kit car or if you're building a kit car, don't, uh, don't cut corners on your wiring. If you've got an old kit car, I suggest you check it. We've got things like this and things like this. It's a masking tape, I don't know what that means, but uh, I know what this sort of thing means here. If you have a look at this wire, you see it's been shorting out, it's started to melt. We've got stuff like that exposed cabling, exposed terminals. More melted wires, more exposed terminals, connectors. This is not good. It's a masking tape. <laughs> it's not good shit, is it? Nah. So basically, this is going to need really a total rewire, or certainly most of it rewiring. Um, it could, it could smell burning, and I think it were an actual choke heater power feed that we're shorting out somewhere on the engine so if you've got an old kit car watch your wiring and watch how you route it if you're building a kit car <laughs> don't skimp on your wiring make sure it's done right okay. oh you might not live to tell the tale <laughs> bye bye